Let's take another look at the one chapter book of Jude today. Reading to you from Jude verse 7, where it says this. As Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them in a similar manner to these, have in giving a themselves over to sexual immorality and gone after strange flesh are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Jude warned early Christians about the presence of dangerous men among them, men with bad doctrine and compromised lives. These words speak to us about the dangers in our midst. Jude used three bad examples to stress one principle. They are Israel in the Exodus, sinning angels, and Sodom and Gomorrah. The principle is simply that a good start is no guarantee of a good finish. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them stand as examples of God's judgment. Their sexual sin was well known, but their sins included far more than the notorious ones. And these sins collectively brought forth God's judgment. You see, Sodom and Gomorrah were blessed, privileged places. We read that in Genesis chapter 13, verse 10. Yet, as Jude tells us, they gave themselves over to sexual immorality and they went after strange flesh. Jude refers to the account in Genesis 19, where the sexually immoral conduct of the men of Sodom was described. Sodom and Gomorrah were guilty of their well-known sexual sins. But Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 49, tells us of some other sins of Sodom. This is what it says in that verse. Look, this was the iniquity of your sister Sodom. She and her daughters had pride, fullness of food, and abundance of idleness. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. Sodom and Gomorrah were indeed prosperous, blessed areas. Despite this, they were judged for their sin. Jude described the fierce judgment of these ancient cities. He said that they were suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. In Genesis 19, Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed with fire from heaven, but far worse than what happened in Genesis 19, they suffered the vengeance of eternal fire. This example gives two lessons. First, it assures us that those who cause trouble for the church will be judged, no matter how much they were blessed in the past. Just as Sodom and Gomorrah were once wonderfully blessed, but eventually suffered the vengeance of eternal fire. Second, it warns us that we must also continue to walk with Jesus if the blessings of the past did not guarantee their future spiritual state, then neither do our blessings. As you look at your life, you probably see great blessings. We thank God for them and we gratefully receive them. But we also understand that they are no guarantee of our continued faithfulness. Someone can be blessed and still end up in trouble. Understanding this, make sure to pray about it today. God, you have blessed me, and I thank you for it. But I ask you to work mightily in me and make me faithful to the end. That's the kind of prayer God loves to answer, and you can pray that kind of prayer today.